And this is this is a thing that is pretty easy to do inside of Zoho, but pretty high impact. Um, you know, especially if you have a large team of sales reps, right? I mean, that's always the battle, right? People don't always want to use software systems. It takes a little bit of massaging, right? The carrot and the stick to uh, to push for adoption. But one of the biggest things that we see that again is very easy to do that helps with that process is just making sure the data is organized on the page. Uh, and in, in a nice way. So if we see, you know, when you first are gonna spin up your CRM, right? We're looking at a contact here. Pretty much every field is just dropped into one big section called contact information, right? So this contains everything from their lead source to their email, um, you know, to a vendor that they might work for, you know, all this different info, you know, some system data like created by and modified by that really just doesn't need to be top of line. You know, like when a sales rep is gonna pull up this contact to place a call, they don't really care who, who last modified the record, who created the record, right? It just doesn't matter for them. Um, and so if we jump to our next slide here, we'll see kind of like a quick redesign on this where, you know, we basically have broken out a lot of this info into the contact infos, their name, you know, date of birth, things like that. Contact info and socials, you've got phone numbers and emails all in the same place. And again, it's real easy to do. So if we Jump into the settings up there in the top right, a little wrench and screwdriver or a cog. They are updating that over the course of this year. So that'll likely it's, turn it's in. All, it's all going to a cog, right? Yep, it's all going to a cog. Going it's going to... kind of phase wise. And then under our settings, we can go into modules and fields and then into contacts here and into our standard layout. We're not going to touch on this a lot today, but you can actually create multiple versions of this. Uh, so you could have two or three different layouts for a contact. And we'll see on this page, you know, this is basically the, the behind the scenes editor where all of these fields are, you know, bulked up into one big section. And so we'll see here with a quick little rearrangement, right? We're able to split these out into multiple sections that allow sales reps or whoever's using the system to kind of quickly scan for the header that they need, which is going to be larger and in bold um, so that they can just key into that particular section where they're expecting to find the info. Another thing that we won't show here, because it's always going to be specific to your business, but a lot of these fields you may end up removing, right? Something like Skype ID, you know, that one might have been put in place maybe in the early 2010s when Skype was a bigger thing. That'd probably be a Zoom ID nowadays. Um, you know, things like their assistant and assistant phone, you know, you might just not be working with that type of uh, person or business. So you can, of course, remove these fields as well. But for now, we'll go ahead and leave them in. And it's really, really easy to rearrange we're not sure yeah this is drag and drop here yeah this is this is just straight drag and drop moving things around on the page yeah the new section thing here is where you would drag over create and title a new section and then just move these fields around any way you want and then you can pick from the new fields over there on the left hand side and kind of create your own new fields and we do have tons of other videos that will kind of step you through all that in, in extreme detail yep and then again, kind of looking at a quick before and after of the page, you know, before again, everything is kind of just jumbled up into one big section under contact information, but with a little bit of, um, you know, massaging, we're able to break that out into some more delineated sections so that you're not kind of seeing everything in one big bulk. Again, you know, it's not like a life or death update to make to your CRM, but it's just going to help people find what they need to find and not feel like they're battling the screen, right, to kind of get the info they need and do their job. Right, we want to just create the least amount of barriers that are going to frustrate anyone who has to touch a system like this.